All right, we have a starter. We have a place for a starter. This is uh, extremely difficult to access on the model that uh, model of tractor that I have. So I cleaned the starter up and made sure it was all good. Uh, serviced the the drive unit here before I decided I was going to put this back on. You basically have to. I mean, you got to like lift the engine up out of the tractor to get to this. Once the shrouding is over here, you just you can't get to it. So careful the rear stud. Make sure this isn't going to spin and snap inside when you go to tighten in your positive lug on this one side. Uh, but otherwise, there's nothing to it. You've got a a register here where this will pile it into the case. And you got two holes down here. It slides in like that. And then make sure that this register is correctly seated right there. I'm going to put a lock washer on this and some new nuts. Somebody had mangled the original one. I assume trying to get to it while it was in the tractor. So it doesn't have the original hardware anymore, but at least you can put a wrench on it. That's good. Yeah, so once the rear shroud, or once the, the front shroud is in and the side shroud is in, this is basically like pretty difficult to access if it's in a tractor where the frame comes up like here and our my tractor has that so and then when I use this on the test bench I'll probably just hook my ground up here They're just quarter 20 threads, so don't don't yank on them too hard. And there it is. Not much to it. So now most of the stuff is in. Let's uh, work on putting the shrouds on. We're not going to mess with the PTO. Work on getting the shrouds on, hooking up the oil pressure lines. And I'm going to hook up an oil pressure gauge while we're testing it and uh, yeah we'll be going we'll be going to the stand soon